Can you just explain in simple language what is wall trade trading for our viewers? Why it matters and how it, different players in the market approach wall trading? Like wall trading might sound niche, but it is becoming uh, increasing important in today's market. We have seen how wall trading can grab headlines. Think of an event like 2018 Volga uh, Vol uh, Volma Dawn when popular uh, short wall trading product imploded and shocked a lot of traders. Right. So can you just give a brief about wall trading? Yeah, so volatility trading is, so we should back up and call it uh, for a moment and call it what where what it really is, which is it's options trading. So the idea is um, there's there's option contracts um, that are, if we think about how an option contract is priced, uh, it has a number of inputs, including uh, the stock price, the strike price, and the difference between them is the idea is called moneyness, how far the stock is from the strike price. Um, there's an interest rate component to it, um, and then there's a time to expiration component to it. Um, all of those variables are uh, fairly observable. You can look at the yield curve, and you know the interest rate. You can look up the, you could see what the bid ask on the stock price is, and you can see where the stock is. The strike price is fixed, and the time to expiration is also uh, fixed by the exchange. The only variable that goes into the option price that has a uh, an area for large disagreement is the volatility. And as you can imagine, a, 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 an option on a very very volatile stock will be worth much much more than an option, say, on a utility company. So, uh, but because we don't know what the actual volatility will be in the, in, in, a, in, for that underlying for the stock, there's an opportunity here to reflect a view uh, um, on the volatility, either one of two ways, really, we can think of it in two different ways. There's the implied volatility, which is um, to give an example of implied volatility. If we are looking at a stock right now, uh, where if, let's say you're looking at the, at the money call, if right now, if all of a sudden nothing changes in the stock price and in one minute, the at the money calls value goes up, uh, let's say that it's, it's $3 and it goes to $3 and 10 cents suddenly with no, the stock not moving or anything. The only thing that could have really changed that, that, that caused it to go up by 10 cents is the market's forecast consensus forecast of what the volatility is. So the volatility has changed. And in this case, it's changed the option price by 3%. So that is a, a change in implied volatility. So an implied vol a, a, an options trader could try to buy option contracts where they think the implied volatility is going to increase or sell ones that they think the implied volatility is going to decrease, or they could do what we call um, replication where they buy an option and they say, you know, over the course of its life, I think that the volatility that's going to transpire between now and the expiration is going to be higher than the volatility that I bought that was implied in the contract that I bought. So what they can do is they can buy the option and then they can replicate the option, a short option by trading the underlying stock and try to essentially monetize that difference by holding it. So the two things is you can bet on the implied volatility or you can bet or you can warehouse the trade and replicate it and hold it till expiration and try to make money on what we call the realized volatility. So that's the two, um, those are two very high level broad categories of what volatility trading is. And people that volatility trade for a living are doing a mix of both.